Well, more train troubles for New Jersey transit riders. The power issue that stranded thousands of people last night has been fixed, but Amtrak says passengers should expect residual delays. CBS's Jenna DeAngelis is in Secaucus. Oh, it was a madhouse. A little bit of a fiasco. A lot of people. Just some of the ways commuters describe being packed in Penn Station during the Monday evening rush, which was quite the opposite, watching delays and cancellations across the board. It was horrific. It took me almost three hours to get home. I'm miserable. Probably the worst one I've had in a number of years, standing there for hours with no delays on when it was going to be restored or really what the problem was. Around 5 p.m., a New Jersey transit train en route to New York became disabled, leaving commuters stranded at Penn Station for at least two hours. NJ Transit blames the delays on power issues related to overhead wires outside of Penn, which are owned by Amtrak. I was on a train and all of a sudden, everything, the power went out. We got stuck on the train. We had to wait for them to come rescue us. Commuters we spoke to say they eventually gave up on the train and decided to explore other options. We ended up having to Uber back because we weren't staying in that line. How much did that cost you? Like 100 bucks. This mess just days after the release of a New Jersey state audit revealing there were 18,000 delayed trains between 2017 and May of 2019. Auditors say this is due to circumstances circumstances that could have been prevented by the agency, including staffing and equipment issues. New Jersey Transit has not impressed me overall. It's been, um, I, I, it's hard for me to say that it's gotten any better in the last, you know, five years. Governor Murphy claims it has gotten better. His office responding to the audit with a statement saying there's been a 35% reduction in train cancellations from 2018 to 2019. But after last night, as commuters, you know, we want some sort of an apology. I know that's ridiculous and not rational. Right. So it's just really frustrating. Around two this morning, everything was back on track. Commuters are hoping it stays this way after a rough start to the work week. In Secaucus, New Jersey, Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Amtrak tells CBS 2 it is actively investigating what caused that power outage.